what's up guys and welcome to my channel i decided to go ahead and show you guys this clip because it doesn't make any sense for me to make an entire video on me painting the legs of this chair basically bobby and i primed them yesterday and yeah that's that you'll get to see the finished product as time progresses with these videos thank you all for watching and you know i appreciate the love and welcome to my channel so today i am coming to you with my latest package um inside of this box lies a portable shampoo bowl so with this particular shampoo bowl you do not need plumbing i repeat you do not need plumbing. So yeah, now that I've discovered this, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going back in anyone else's salon unless it's like a Paul Mitchell salon or like a salon where I can actually learn some continued education from a licensed individual. Till then, it's look like it's gonna be like a sweet situation for me up until I decide to do something outside of what I'm doing right now. Oh, what I'm about to do is um, do an unboxing video. I just have to try to move these chairs out of the way because I just got done painting the arms of them. Kind of still in the midst of painting them because I still got to paint the back ones there. But I still have to paint. And then I don't know if I'm going to tear this um, fabric off and then just do completely new fabric because the fabric that I bought that's over there on the table, which I probably can't see it, but it's right there. That is like way more expensive. I paid about $11 for 2.06 yards of this compared to $50 of 2.5 yards of that. So, um, I'm just trying to let these legs dry, get these chairs out of my way so I can wheel this box back because it's a pretty big box. But uh, these chairs heavy too. Like one thing I love is durable furniture. I don't like none cheap. Like I'd rather reupholster a chair do something like that instead of a uh, you know buying new stuff wasting more money when i had and then buying cheap furniture on that on top of that because nowadays honey the furniture is cheap so i wouldn't mind you know some antique furniture every now and again that i could reupholster just to make sure that I have all I need. So right now what I'm doing is pretty much like wheeling this box to the back because it's pretty uh, big. So yeah. All right, y'all, I don't have my, actually I do, I do, I do. I was gonna say, I don't have my uh, tripod, but I do have a ring light that it can, that my phone can sit on while I unbox this. Sorry about that, y'all. So I hope you all can see me. If not, I know you can see this box. You can see this corner. So this is that portable shampoo ball that I was telling you all about. So excited. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for this. Um, the salon that I'm at right now, I cut my hours down. So actually, I'm going to just say my days, days, hours, whatever, but I cut my days down from whatever day I wanted to come in per week to, to um, just three days. But 
honestly it makes no sense for me to be there and then be coming here so i just decided to just eliminate that shop that i was at all together so i can um you know flourish and focus on my own business because sometimes when you get in certain spaces you can become distracted and you know you don't i don't like getting comfortable so So this is what it looks like. It comes in a box. It's all wrapped in plastic. This, ooh, I'm so excited. This, um, this is just wrapped in all plastic. It says, do not turn on the heater before reading the instructions. So they ain't got to worry about me doing that. I would definitely make sure I read the instructions. But I certainly, um, imagining that this was in there just to like protect the inside this is the plug that you plug in for the hot water heater <clears throat> this is the nozzle sprayer whatever you want to call it and then the neck rest for your client's comfortability It seems pretty tall, so I might have to see. I forgot to bring my chair here. Oh, Josh can bring that tomorrow. You lying. I know you lying. I'm gonna have to see. So, if I had a chair, I would, like, show you all how 
I like sitting in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show y'all what's in this thing. I hope y'all can see. Okay. So, I've watched several reviews on this thing on YouTube, and I saw a girl who had this one um, in. I believe it was this color but i think her bow also was a little different because when she would turn hers backwards it looked black but this one is completely like gray it's not very heavy at all um so in here we have bottle water dispensing system we have this which is your it's a water tank one of these is the fresh water tank and one of these is the um, one of these is the basically the dirty water so i think this is the one that's the dirty water because this is the one that is hooked up to the drain in the sink and then the water that actually comes out of the sprayer is going to be the fresh water. So this is a seven gallon tank. Um, I don't even know why this is in here. Let me see. It is something in here. About a water dispensing system. Oh. So there's nothing in here. I'm assuming that this white thing here obviously is this. Why they put the box in here? I don't know. They could have just put this on here. I wouldn't even know. But I'm glad they did. So, boom, there's that. The, actually it's this whole setup in here i don't know if you guys can see for real let me see if y'all can see that back there yeah y'all can kind of see it not up and close but y'all can see it so this here says it's the bottled water dispenser so this is where the water comes from and then i believe this is the hot water heater to heat the water so there's like a little switch here that has an off and on switch. Once you plug it up, you pretty much turn it on. Everything is like plugged up where it's supposed to be. And then this little plug is the plug that actually plugs into the wall that controls everything. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm not going to do too much with this today just because I have so many other things to get finished. Um, maybe it was this way. So this is pretty cool, pretty dope. I'm excited. I don't have to worry anymore about anything. Just, you know, nice to have a load off or nice to just be able to relax and know that everything's gonna be fine. All right, so that's the unboxing of that video. Um, I'm gonna show you guys when I do a client in this bowl when I wash someone's hair what that looks like so stay tuned um this particular shampoo ball i bought off of etsy and it was about fifteen hundred dollars um but it's an investment i needed it i don't have to worry about i mean like would you rather pay a one-time payment of a hundred or i'm sorry a fifteen hundred dollars for a shampoo ball or would you rather keep paying 
weekly at a salon where there's like multiple people, multiple clients, two shampoo bowls, paying, well, at first I was paying $100 a week, which is nothing. But now I'm paying $85 a week since I cut my days down. But it still just doesn't make sense for me to pay over $300 in boot rent when I can literally bring that money into my own business. So that's that's the whole plan. That's the video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see an updated video of me using the shampoo bowl, go ahead and comment below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Until next time.